Hi, this is Keith Townsend and welcome to episode 47 of Virtualized Geeks Tech Talk. So today we're going to continue the conversation around VMware's concept of the Goldilocks Zone. As a reminder, the Goldilocks Zone, basically VMware concept of the software defined data center allows uh, for the hypervisor to be the central component of the data center. With the hypervisor being the central component of the data center, services running in the kernel such as uh, storage or storage compute or networking can be easily monitored by either third party security devices or uh, VMware's own tools. The ideal of the Goldilocks zone is because the data center is virtualized and because everything's running in a single kernel, granular controls can be applied uh, to all three levels of the software defined data center. One of the offshoots of the Goldilocks zone is VMware's concept of micro segmentation or their specific implementation of uh, kind of this east west security zones that uh, most security organizations would love to deploy, but from a uh, physical infrastructure perspective is impractical. So let's talk about why that's impractical in the physical data center to begin with. So in a physical data center, let's take the most basic types of uh, security zones, the public internet and the private data center. So we'll call uh, the private data center zone one, and the public internet zone two. And in between these two security zones, you normally have, of course, a firewall. And this firewall can control north-south flow of data. So if there is a malicious intruder on the internet trying to get into your private network, that's not allowed. So everything in zone one is protected from uh, devices connected to zone two. The problem with this approach is that the assumption is that everything on zone one is trusted. So if we have servers within zone one, there is no layer two protection between the two devices or even layer three protection normally. In order to compensate for that, uh, we can create additional zones. So we can uh, have a zone 1.1 1 .1 and a zone 1.2 and have a, our firewall protect against those uh, in between those two zones. The problem with that approach is still uh, it's not quite granular enough because again everything in these two zones uh, trust the inter-zone, the inter-zone traffic, and intra-zone traffic is what's blocked. The other problem with that is that as you grow this monolithic firewall and you put more and more ports on it, one, it becomes more difficult to manage, or even if you separate this out to multiple firewalls. I've seen this approach still at the layer three approach, the layer three level, you still have the two problems of one, you can't uh, get granular to the NIC and protect against layer two uh, intrusions. And two, as it scales, it becomes more and more difficult to manage because if you have, as, the more firewalls you have, the more difficult it becomes to manage. So how does VMware's micro segmentation in NSX solve this problem? Their approach is basically a trust nothing security zone. Because we have virtual NICs connected to a single hypervisor port, we can now get granular at the NIC level and monitor inter-NIC traffic. So if we have two VMs sitting on the same uh, server, uh, and that server is connected to an NSX network overlay or, an, or open vSwitch or even a distributed switch. If we put NSX security on top, now we can protect east, east and west traffic. And since it's in kernel traffic, you can get bandwidths that go up to 20 gig per host. As you add more and more hosts, 
your bottleneck becomes the interconnect between the two holes. But within the holes, you still get the same 20 gig uh, bandwidth for your firewalling. And you can still do the nick to nick comparison from VM to VM with the only bottleneck again being preferably this 10 gig link over the physical underlay. With this holistic view of the uh, data center, the software defined data center, tools within NSX allow you to monitor and apply policies across multiple firewalls or micro segments. So this is what VMware re refers to as micro segmentation and the advantages of micro segmentation versus traditional north south firewalling. Well, that's it for this episode of Virtualized Geeks Tech, Tech Talk. I will have an expanded uh, post on this over on Tech Talk, targeting maybe about a month after this video has been posted. Going to detail on how you would do this potentially with other vendors. Visit us on virtualizedgeek.com for more software-defined networking and infrastructure technologies in general. Thanks. Have a great day.